this is the Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast and uh, my portfolio at market close is down again by 0.37% with a surprising decline of the Apple stock, my largest holding actually, by 1.03% despite uh, the Apple event which I found to be uh, of great value and I am sure will create solid growth for the company moving forward in my opinion. So if you're like me, lucky to live in a different time zone, take full advantage of it as the New York Stock Exchange opens at dinner time and closes when you are fast asleep. You have very little chances to be tempted into day-to-day trading. The same attitude should be adopted if you're lucky to live in the United States as well. Let the stock market do its job for you. Whether you're up or down, you're in it for the long term, remember. Do some research on the history of the stock market since inception until today and you will understand my point very clearly. Your portfolio will look sensational in 10 or 15 years. If only you stay disciplined and stick by your investment choices. Do not sell your positions until you retire. Do not sell your positions until you have reached your financial goals. So I wanted to spend some time on the financial goals. I spoke uh, yesterday to two young managers and I asked them uh, what is their definition of financial success. They are respectively 27 and 28 years old. One is female, we will name her Mary, and the um, the other one is male, we will name him John. So uh, Mary is from Europe and John is from uh, the local, is a local from the country in Asia we're currently in. So Mary said that she would consider herself financially successful if she attained a net worth of $5 million in 10 years. John said that he would be happy with a guaranteed lifetime $2,000 a month which represent over 50 years, a total net worth of $1.2 million. He does not require more than that to live in the country he is in currently uh, in Asia. So let's assume it takes him 10 years to accomplish this and reach his targeted net worth. He will need to be able to save $120,000 per year or $10,000 per month. A difficult task, meaning that he would need to climb that corporate ladder uh, first, which should take him 15 years, and start saving then for another 10 years every month without fail. There are many goals to reach here, but that is not impossible, as in 25 years he will still be young and he would have attained his objective through hard work, dedication, passion and drive. Now that would be the classic route to take evidently and nobody has so much patience. However, I am a firm believer that the times we live in have tremendously changed and if if you today have a dream you can attain it much faster thanks to the internet that simply cut out the middleman, you can monetize your passions or hobbies now online. Now there are no more excuses possible as to why you cannot achieve your dreams. The internet exposed your weaknesses as an achiever. You only need to act and the market will decide if you're good enough uh, and no longer another human being. So both Mary and John have a shot at their dreams now, a thing that was simply impossible only 15 years ago. Mary's objective seems, however, quite a stretch uh, unless you have created a real disruptor on the market unless you have uh, found a problem and actually fixed it through your innovation uh, to the greatest service of mankind or you have become one of those influencers online as you touched everyone's heart in a way or another you know possible uh, but the odds of that are evidently high or she consistently beat the stock market over the few years, uh, received a call from a scout from a large investment fund, got the job, excelled at the tasks, and consistently received a seven-figure bonus. Possible, but another hard path. Now, my point here overall 
is there are no shortcuts, there are no hacks in building wealth or achieving your dreams. All the paths are hard, but they can be walked. It is about you. No one else will do it for you or set you up. You need to rewire yourself, adopt the mindset of an achiever, make the right sacrifices, increase your income through drive and passion at your current job, save and invest consistently with discipline and patience, be self-aware on what you can and cannot do as to not be delusional and start creating other sources of income. Remember, everything is possible in 2019. We live only once, and if you're young, then your greatest asset is time. If older, then your greatest asset is experience, and both can be monetized. It's not too early or too late to start the journey towards financial freedom. Some may say we should not always think about money. Agree, but money here is the end goal. What will make you happy is the process in between as it will fulfill you to levels beyond your understanding. You will discover new skills you had in you, sleeping for years. You will taste small victories and learn from defeats, but you will prevail at the end because you are John and you are Mary and you have already set yourselves up for success. Now, I hope this episode brought you value and I would love to hear from you as well. Maybe you can let me know what is your ideal net worth and how you're planning on getting there. So in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic day ahead. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.